Hey Taurus, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for April 19th to the 20th of 2023. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Taurus. I don't know if you're eating a Snickers or um a Three Musketeers bar. I don't know why I wanted to say a Mars bar. I don't know. That could be like a double entendre or something like that. It could be like literally a bar named Mars or something. I'm going to write that down. Mars bar. But I'm seeing it as a chocolate bar, but it could literally be something else. All right. We have Crow Sovereignty. Wolf Communication. So expect communication from someone in the next 48 hours. Nymph Promiscuity. Okay. <laughs> Her. Okay, Owl Wisdom. So it's someone you already know. Um, This could be someone you used to mess around with or date. Someone, it doesn't even have to be someone you used to mess around with or date. It's just someone you know of already. They're going to be flirting with you in the next 48 hours. I feel like you've just been ab abstaining from either this person or in general. I feel like you have not messed with this person in a while. I don't know why I'm getting, hmm. For some of you, it was two days ago you messed with this person <laughs> and they're hitting you up again. Okay, let's get into the tarot, of course. Someone is going to be flirting with you next for you. And I feel like you're like, what? Huh? You looking at the text message or the call like, you for real right now? You looking at this person like, what is going on? <laughs> Someone's trying to get in your pants and it's 48 cards. Let's see. You could be at a bar, and that's why. I feel like someone's giving you the eyes. Like, they're looking at you like, what you got going on? What you trying to do? The King of Cups. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Seven of Wands. You're very defensive. You don't want to. I, that's what I'm getting. I feel like you're abstaining. I don't, I'm not seeing, like, you're abstaining from sex in general. Some of you could be. But I feel like you're just like, what are you doing? No. <laughs> Back up off me. Ten of Swords. Okay, I see why. Either you went through a cycle of backstabbing and betrayal with this person specifically or in the past or just in general. And so you're more guarded. You don't want to deal with that. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Things were just imbalanced. You're very defensive. You don't want nothing to do with this person. You're just over them and over this with the Knight of Swords. So you're determined to move on and move forward. You got your guard up. You're standing up against this person. The worst part of the situation is over. You're creating balance here. This person this person could be a selfish lover as well. So, I mean, what would be the point of even engaging with this person? <laughs> Clarify this for Taurus. I feel like it goes without saying that you gain knowledge and wisdom from this experience, of course, with the Owl Wisdom, of course, with the Ten of Swords and Seven of Wands showing up. But it's like, hmm, let's clarify before I say anything. Clarifying the King of Cups is a page of swords. So yeah, it's a water sign spying on you. This could have been the, the most recent person you went through this with. So the person... um who you most recently went through like a really trying time with, they're coming back. I wanted to say they're coming back for more. I don't know why. And someone could be eating Scrapple at this time, or this could be someone's favorite food. Nine of Wands, or favorite breakfast food. But with the Nine of Wands, you it took a lot for you to get rid of this person or get this person out of your energy or to, to just move on. Maybe you used to really fall for them in the past or let them in, but you don't anymore. And cross watcher, feel free to flip and reverse the roles. But anyway, with the Nine of Wands, it's the Wounded Warrior card, a card of perseverance. Someone can see that you are guarded against them and persevering. And if I was them, I would leave you alone. You have the Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands, and Ten of Swords. With the Knight of Swords and the overall energy, you're not playing. Someone wants to reunite with you, Three of Cups, but you're not playing. <laughs> you're not playing with them. Clarifying the Seven of Wands is the Four of Pentacles. Every card is screaming, you want nothing to do with them. Three of Pentacles, but they want everything to do with you. Like, you literally have the Four of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles clarifying the Seven of Wands. It's like, 
total polar opposite energy. This person's fighting for their life to be back in your good graces while you fighting for your life to get the hell away from them. Seven of Swords as I cut the deck. So this person either lied, cheated, or stole. It doesn't have to be all three. Clarifying the Ten of Swords is the King of Cups. So it's definitely... So I feel like the way they're coming towards you is like... This person's coming towards you. Like they're trying to act like... Not saying they're trying to act like it's not a big deal. They know it is. But it's like they're more so trying to come towards you emotionally to like soften you up or to soften the blow. They're trying to come towards you emotionally, but persistently. So they're not aggressive with their approach, but they are persistent. Nine of pentacles. Yeah, you just want to be single. You're done with this person. I feel like this person, they're, they're finally... They're finally accepting that you don't want them anymore. I feel like in the next 48 hours, they will reach out again. But they're going to realize that you're going to shut them down. Clarifying the Six of Pentacles is the Three of Wands. In the High Priestess. I feel like it's too little too late, of course. Uh, it's like... At the last second, this person realizes like, oh, life could have been prosperous financially and things were working out for this person when you were in their life. And so like they see you as a good luck charm. So now they want to work with you, work things out with you, be friends with you. Yeah, their financial independence is uh, fucked now <laughs> because the, ten of, the Nine of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Swords. I mean... The, the Ten of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. A Virgo could be involved in some way. Over on the Three of Cups. So another storyline, um, if you're trying to hunt someone down, someone's looking through a phone book to hunt someone down for their money. You're going to find exactly where they are. <laughs> for, that's just for that one person. <laughs> but um, for others of you, whether this is family, friend, work, or love, this is ex this is all about the money. This person wants you back in their life. I feel like someone could have cut a contract with you once they got their money, their finances in order. But now that you um you're cutting this person out of your life, they're realizing that their money stops. Like yeah, they could have got a leg up while they were with you. But they can't make it grow anymore without you. Like your like once y'all separate or you cut this person out of your life, your money kept growing. Your I said growing. Your money kept growing and progressing. Your businesses kept progressing. You keep continuously having ideas that manifest and grow wealth. Like everything keeps progressing for you. But you cut this person off and their money just st stood still and stagnant. So like, yeah, they made some money off you, but it stopped once you left. Yeah, it's over. Ten of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. So you get financial independence and freedom. And maybe this person may have gotten this off of you or they're trying to get this off of you. But it's like, yeah, this person wants to come back and they want to work with you because they see that you're doing well without them or they want their money to progress, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, that's over. Let me get you your final message. And whether this is, I feel like this is a past person or an energy you're familiar with. Because this could be a brand new person, a brand new face, but it's the same energy or similar to someone that you've dealt with in the past. I do feel like it's someone new though, because we have the three of cups with the three of pentacles. I see seeking answers, seeing clearly paying attention. So this person wants to see how you do it. Yeah, they're spying on you to see if you'll let them in, show um, them your secrets, but they see that you're guarded. Skull, transition, reality, grief, spider, focus, planning, digesting, overall energy is cauldron, creativity, surprising yourself, the rich bra. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.